on, wait a minute here, man. Hang on, let me take a break here. I'm working hard. <laughs> All right. I'm working real hard. Hang on here, man. It's cut me some slack, all right? I'm working very, very hard. Art, what's going on, Art? Wow, that's a tough name there, man. Merminia? I'm not even going to... Merminia Gutierrez. That's a tough name right there. Let's go live. I think I am live. <laughs> I'm talking to my people who are going live on Facebook, and <laughs> I think I was live right there, but that's okay. That's okay. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. There we go. Uh, you are well. There we go. Art, uh, so how you doing, amigo? And I appreciate them... Uh, very nice words, Jared. Good morning, Art. How are we doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. DJ Edward Castillo. What's going on, Edward? Uh, Edward, for some reason, seems to think that he's a really, really good pool player. Well, Edward, let me just tell you this, Edward. You're a good pool player. You're good. But the problem here, Edward, is that I'm great. That's a big difference. You're good. I'm great. It's a big difference there, Edward, okay? So don't even think about it. Don't even think about it, Edward. I'll go to your house on your brand new pool table and I'll kick your butt. Uh, good morning, John. I got out to Geno, what? With him, Genoveva? Man, that's a tough name right there. Susanna Reyes. Good morning, good morning. Jerry Whittier. Good morning, Dale Saul. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Don't want to miss anybody. Tristan. Good morning, DJ Edward Castillo. Irene Gayona. Prima. How you doing, Prima? Art Miro. Good morning, Art. How you doing, brother? Ruby R. Got to say, good morning, Ruby. How you doing, Ruby? I think this is the first time you've ever joined me, unless I got it wrong. You know, I'm going to have a brain fart, and I forget things sometimes. But anyway, good morning, Ruby. There we go. Blanca Ramos. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wednesday morning. Hump day, Wednesday. Double R Radio. It is time for question of the day. But before we go there, people have been sending me messages. So what's the deal, Robert? What is the deal on your new schedule? Well, this is the way it works. I've got to improvise here a little bit because I've been, I got to keep more busier on what I'm doing with the Uber thing. So I don't want to give up the radio part of it. So look, I said, well, I got to improvise here a little bit. So my new schedule, listen up everybody, my new schedule, and I'm going to say it over and over and over again. My new schedule of going live starting Tuesday, October the 23rd, primetime Tuesday from 7 to 9 p.m. In La Tarde, in the evening, primetime Tuesday, no morning show, but primetime Tuesday in the evening, Wednesday morning, I'm back in Adam in the morning, doing the morning show from 7 to 10 p.m., 7 to 10 a.m., there we go. Thursday, back to primetime Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m., primetime Thursday. Friday, free form Friday morning show, back in Adam, 7 to 10 p.m., why do I keep on saying p.m.? 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., free form Friday, and of course, the Cruising Classic Show, each and every Sunday, that's bulletproof from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's very simple. Tuesday and Thursday, prime time. Wednesday and, uh, Wednesday and Friday, morning show. And Sundays, the Cruising Classic Show. We all know about that. All this starts uh, Tuesday, October the 23rd. So look, and mark that down in your calendar, please, okay? There we go. New schedule. Um, before I move forward as well, Jerry Wadia says, good morning and uh, buenos dias to you, Mr. Rivas. Have a great day and you as well, amigo. Good morning, good morning. Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, Houston, Texas. Good morning, Cynthia. Um, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, I went to go um, uh, visit a buddy of mine, Mr. Daniel De La Cruz, who invited me to his parents' house back in the old neighborhood where I grew up in. And uh, one thing about going over there, man, I always go down memory lane. No doubt, man. I'm, they live right down the street from where I used to live. A lot of memories playing street football and partying and doing this and doing that. So I always like going over there, man, and having a trip down memory lane, no doubt. And uh, even more so uh, when my buddy Danny, his mom, she puts on a botana. You know, botana when they make some food and stuff. But she specializes in making these taquitos, man. I simply love the way she makes her tacos. She uses corn tortilla, a little bit greasy, with some picadillo or ground meat, some lettuce, tomato, some cheese, and some avocado. I'm telling you, man, bam! Heck, man, those tacos are almost better than sex. Um, so maybe they are better than sex now, but really, man, they're very, very good tacos. And I definitely want to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. De La Cruz for showing me their hospitality, as they always do when I go to their house and, you know, the cold beers and the appetizers and the laughter and all the other good stuff. Just simply awesome. I love going back down memory lane, you know, headed back to the old street where I grew up and, and even more so when I'm treated like that. So I thank you all so very, very much, Mr. and Mrs. De La Cruz and even more so Mrs. De La Cruz for 
putting on that botana the way she did, man. Simply love those taquitos. Thank you so very much. Now, one thing I'm going to give you a fun fact about Mrs. De La Cruz is that she normally doesn't listen to my morning show, but she does uh, log on to YouTube and checks out my morning show videos each and every evening. So there you go, and you can do the same thing. Whatever you miss during the morning show, whatever, you can log on to YouTube, go to Robert Rivers Radio, Simple at YouTube, Robert Rivers Radio, and you can check out the cool videos that I've done on a morning show like this one right here. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Good morning, John. I got the Blanca Ramos. Good morning, Xavier Olivera. Good morning, amigo. How are we doing? Uh oh, uh oh. X Men yesterday had a quote saying, Love is overrated. Um, I got to do that one for tomorrow, X Men. Hang on here, man. Love is overrated. <laughs> We're going to start trouble tomorrow, X Men. Love is overrated. We'll do that one tomorrow, X Men. Okay, we'll rock the cosmo with that one tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. What else do I got going on, X-Men, X-Men? Angie Castillo Blanco says, Hola, Bobby. Have a great day. Then you as well. Good morning, Angie. Anyways, let's get, uh, let's see what's going on out here. We, we got to move on here. Uh, let's see here. It is time for question of the day. Check this out. A pig um, got out of its little pig, pig pen, whatever you want to call it, and the cops couldn't get it back in. The owner said, the only way you're going to get that pig back inside this pig pen that pig loves Doritos. <laughs> so instead of shooting the pig and killing it and having a barbecue, the cops went and got some Doritos and they put some Doritos inside the pig pen and the pig went right in. There you go. Anyways, when the pig was out, it got sunburned. So what they did, they put on some ointment on, on no. They put some ointment on the pig for sunburn. No. Okay, let's forget about that story. Let's see what else is going on here. Check this out. Another crazy story. A woman claims she has drank Nothing but Pepsi since 1954, and she does not drink water whatsoever. She will not drink water, only Pepsi. And there you go. And every once in a while, she'll throw a little bourbon in there. <laughs> but really, uh, the 77-year-old woman says she has had nothing else to drink um, but Pepsi four times a day since 1954. There you go. Uh, if she's not going pee pee, she's going Pepsi. There you go. Uh, anyways, no, no, that's not funny. Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. Okay, I tell you what, let's get to my question of the day. I'm really curious about this one. Good morning, Chara Gana Talicia. Uh, Beba Reyes, good morning. Nani Jimenez, good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Anyways, question of the day. You know, um, yesterday I went to a hotel lobby and they were making popcorn. They had this big machine and you can smell popcorn in the air, man. When somebody's making popcorn, you can smell it right away. Right that? Well, anyways, I was thinking about this and I was, it, it, it brought back a flashback to where, uh, back in the day when we were all kids, man, you know, back when we were growing up, there were eight of us. We were all kids. And when we wanted popcorn, my mom would break out a frying pan. No lie, not this microwave popcorn crap. My mom would break out a frying pan and put some little, you know, oil, cooking oil in there and put popcorn, you know, the little kernels or whatever you want to call it, put them inside the pan and cover it. And she would shake the pan like that and voila, popcorn would come out. And to me, that's the old fashioned way of making popcorn, old school way. Well, my question of the day is simple. Who remembers making popcorn the old fashioned way on the stove? And I'll let you out, some people still do this. Really, man, but today's world, it's so convenient. Go buy a bag, stick that baby in the microwave, set it at two minutes, and you got popcorn. But back in the day, it wasn't that simple. You'd have to get a frying pan, you get some cooking oil, you put some popcorn in there, you shake it up there a little bit, and there you go, voila, popcorn for everybody, and even more so, cheaper. So, my question of the day, who remembers making popcorn the old-fashioned way on the stove. Good morning, shout out, going out to Brian Vesic. Good morning, good morning, good morning, amigo. Anyways, it is Wednesday morning, X-Men in the casa. X-Men, do you still do that, X-Men? Popcorn, the old-fashioned way? Do you shake it up? You don't do all that stuff? Really, man, that's the old-fashioned way, the good old days, but like I said, man, everything has changed so much in today's world. It really, really has. You know, it's so crazy that nowadays, how many kids do you see out there messing with their phones, with an iPad and all this other stuff. Back in the day, we didn't have none of this, man. iPhones and iPads. We didn't have any of that. No maxi pads, nothing. All we had was like Monopoly. You know, those board games and stuff like that, you know. Or as to, what was it, man? What did we have? <laughs> if we didn't have nothing to play with, we just play with ourselves. But, you know, anything to entertain ourselves. There we go. There we go. And it says, my mom used to make it. For us, when we were young kids, there we go. Anyways, Prima says this there. 
Uh, what, what the hell are you saying, Prima? Yes, make the way with uh, lots of butter. You know, um, I like buttered popcorn. I really do. But I get a kick nowadays when you go to the movies, you say, they put butter on it, right? And you go, can I have some extra butter? And they'll tell you, can we have some extra money? Really, man, those movies, they don't screw around, man. You want extra butter? They want extra money. Good news. Head on over to Robert Reaver's Internet Radio group page right now and answer me. Pregunta, por favor. Who remembers making popcorn the old-fashioned way on the stove? Good morning, child. Going up to Geneva. Tristan says, good morning, Robert. All the way from Fruitland, Idaho. There we go. Good morning, Idaho. There we go. Let's uh, keep it going. Let's do something by Garth Brooks. If tomorrow never comes. Thanks for waking up with me. Double R Radio. Pam! I ran out of coffee. I got to go get a cinnamon roll and uh, have a little papita. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRevisRadio.com. It's that simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Join me now. Orale.